because well, a few weeks ago I told you about an ecumenical conference that was going to be taking place in Texas called Under God, Indivisible, and it was something to behold. Everybody was there, the Mormons, the Catholics, Jewish rabbis, and so-called evangelicals, and it took place at High Point Church in Arlington, Texas. Now, it was hosted by James Robinson, who I believe is a word faith preacher, and it was also carried on Daystar Television Network and also on Glenn Beck TV, GBTV. Now, I'm going to have a link in the information bar so you can go and watch this entire thing. It's about three hours long, and um, y you know, it's just unbelievable when you watch this thing because all the religions were there. And of course, it was all taking place to save America, to reclaim America because. Um, the speakers believe that America is on a downward spiral and we're going to be judged by God. And I, of course, I believe that. Okay, I believe that. However, I do not believe that we should be in bed with um, people of false religions. Okay, the Mormon religion is a false religion. It's a works righteous religion. So is so is the um, the Roman Catholic Church and of course um, uh, Orthodox Judaism. Okay, they're all works righteous religions. And so all of these people were getting together to quote unquote save America. Now, I agree with a lot of what was said there, but as I said, I do not believe that we should be jumping in bed with leaders of false religion. Um, America is on a downward spiral. America is, I believe, is being judged by God right now. And I don't believe that um, unless a, a revival takes place in America, I don't see America being saved at all. We have a wicked president in the White House, and make no mistake about it, uh, just so you know where I stand, I believe President Obama is the most wicked and evil president that we've ever had. The man is hastening our judgment. He is about as evil a president as we can get. And if you're a Christian, you support that man. I, 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 don't, I don't question your salvation, but I do question your sanity, okay? Because the man is about as wicked as you can get. Everything that that man does, um, goes completely against the Bible. He shakes his fist at God every single day because of his wicked policies. But anyway, so this ecumenical conference took place. And, um, you know, just a few highlights. The one at the one minute and 43 second mark, you know, there was a loud applause from the audience when James Robinson said that it was being carried on Glenn Beck TV. Now, remember what I said Glenn Beck is a Mormon. Okay, he's a missionary for, for the Mormon church, and yet there's a huge applause by the so-called evangelical uh, Christians in the church when he announced that it was being carried on uh, Glenn Beck's television. At the 1 minute and 50 second mark, James Robinson you know, said that it's wonderful to see the harmony, this unity, to see people coming together, Protestants, Catholics, Jewish rabbis, leaders, who want to exalt the Father in heaven, the creator of all, our provident God who gave us our rights. We got them from him, not from the government. Now, focus on the fact that he says that they want to exalt, exalt the Father in heaven, the creator of all, our provident God. The fact of the matter is that Jews do not worship the same God as Christians. Catholics worship a completely different God. The Mormon God is also the spirit brother of Lucifer. Uh, we don't worship the same God, and yet they, this whole conference, when you, when you watch this entire conference, you would think that we all worship the same God, and everybody was praying together. I mean, they were all praying together. Uh, at the 2 minute and 20 second mark, you know, James Robinson said that it's a miracle that we're witnessing this unity. It's not a miracle, okay? This was absolute rank disobedience. They were disobeying what the scripture says. You know, in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 18, it says um, that we should not be in union with unbelievers. Okay, we should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers, and yet that's exactly what this conference was. It was yoking, so-called evangelical Christians yoking with people of false religions. Um, at the 3 minute and 33 second mark, Robinson plays up the fact that an evangelical and a Catholic philosopher got together to write the book, Indivisible and that both their flocks are being encouraged to read it. You know, it was endorsed by some of the biggest leaders in both camps. Robinson, again, thinks that this was a miracle. There's no miracle here. Of course, it was ranked disobedience. At the um, 12 minute and 11 second mark, he once again, he says it's a miracle that we have such a very diverse and strong leadership group coming together. It's not a miracle. It was, again, ranked disobedience. At the uh, 12 minute and 40 second 46 second mark, Robinson welcomes Father Jonathan Morris, a Roman Catholic, as my brother and my friend. Now, Robinson believes, of course, that they worship the same God, despite the fact that Father John Morris, a Catholic, believes 
in faith and works, the Mass, transubstantiation, purgatory, indulgences, praying to Mary and the saints, etc., etc., etc. He's a full-fledged Catholic, and yet James Robinson um, welcomed him as his brother and his friend. At the 20-minute mark, John Morris, same John Morris, Roman Catholic, said heaven is going to be like a religious zoo. People, and basically what he's saying is that people from all religions will be, will be there. That's exactly what Billy Graham said a few years ago to Robert Schuller. And I, I think he also said it on, um, on Larry King, that people from all different religions are going to be in heaven, whether they know Jesus or not, as long as they love Jesus. At the 35 minute and 10 second mark, um, Samuel Rodriguez um, started preaching, and if you listen to him very carefully, he was preaching Dominion Theology. Now, Dominion Theology basically says that as Christians, we're supposed to take over every institution of power, whether it's government, schools, you name it, we're supposed to take it over, and after we take it over and Christianize the whole world, Jesus Christ is going to come back. And if you listen to what he was preaching, he was pretty much preaching Dominion Theology. At the 50-minute um, mark, people in the audience began to roar with applause when Glenn Beck was introduced. Now, as I said, Glenn Beck is about as Mormon as they can get. And yet, you would think that they would have corrected him uh, about his false doctrine. You would think that they would have given him the gospel. And yet, all of these evangelical Christians, so-called evangelical Christians, were getting up and applauding him when he, um, when he showed up. Um, and then, of course, he began to flatter the, the speakers, one after the other. He just, I mean, the flattery just went on and on and on. And... Um, and he kept talking about our Lord and our Father in heaven. As I said, it's a completely different um, God that Glenn Beck worships. And yet you listen to him and you listen to the people and you think that we were all worshiping the same God. At, um, at almost a two-hour mark, Robinson said that Jesus said we ought to love our enemies, but we're not supposed to, we're, but we're not supposed to get in bed with them. Now, is, isn't that what we've done? Isn't that what he has done, where he's gotten in bed, in spiritual bed, with, um, with, our, with enemies, of, um, enemies of the cross, the Jews and the Catholics and the Mormons? You know, um, it's absolutely amazing that he basically condemned himself with that statement. You know, I'll read it again. He says, Jesus says we ought to love our enemies, but we're not supposed to get in bed with them. The Catholics, the Mormons, and the Orthodox Jews are opposed to the gospel. Okay, they are enemies of the gospel. And why was he jumping in bed with these people? Go figure. Um, he also said, you know, um, at the end, the Catholic philosopher Jay Richards said um, that he thinks that the Holy Spirit has told him that Protestants, Catholics, Mormons, Jews need to work together. Holy Spirit didn't tell him that because, as I said, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 18 tells us that we must not be unequally yoked to the unbeliever. And as a Roman Catholic, uh, Jay Richards is probably not saved. So this entire thing was a train wreck. This entire conference was an absolute train wreck, and that's exactly what you expect from an ecumenical conference. Again, I'm going to have the link in the information bar so you can watch it. It's three hours long, and uh, after you watch it, you can just come on over here and, you know, you can post your comments and whatever. So, you know, this is what, um, this is what ecumenicals, ecumenical, um, ecumenism brings. You know, um, these people are Protestant whores. You know, this is, these people are ecumenical whores, and, um, but of course, this is what it breeds when you reject the word of the living God and you jump in bed with uh, false religions and, and everything else. You know, um, may God help these people. May God help all the so-called Christians who were in the audience who cheered on all of these people of false religions instead of uh, confronting them and telling them to repent and believe on the gospel and believe on the death, burial, and the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in order to be saved. So go watch it and uh, come, on, come on back over and... Um, Post your comments, all right? Take care. God bless.